will start with our first match. Competing tonight, we have one of the newest green rumors, a seasoned storyteller herself. Fantastic job with all of her stories. Went up against one of the favorites in this entire competition. Beat him. It was a tough road there too, but eventually beat him and is here tonight to make her way to round two of the celebrity tournament. Let us welcome McKenna. Hi, hello, hello. hello everyone. It is finally here. It's finally here. It's finally started. And thank you so much for the kind words, Giselle. Thank you so much for the kind words, Dion. Um, I, it's the second chance bowl. Giselle, when you were saying all of that, all I could think about was how much I want to be the one to win the whole thing. And it would it would be really devastating if that ends tonight. So I've got to give my all. I got to give my all. Absolutely. That's all we can ask of any competitor. And you have shown tremendous growth and strength in the few times we have seen you in this format and competing. You are certainly worthy to be here. There is no doubt you took out Kelly. Some of them dub him the king, especially on Wednesday nights on the Black Box, which will soon be on our YouTube channel in a couple of weeks. We will have that airing there as well. And our YouTube channel, and McKenna can attest to this as well, is doing amazing. Oh, yeah. We have over 64,000 subscribers and over 1.7 million views. And we have only been active on YouTube for about six months. That is incredible growth for any channel. So thank you so much for supporting us over there as well and letting us know how much you like the content. And if you are watching on YouTube tonight and don't see the episode tomorrow, don't worry. Each match will be uploaded individually throughout the week. You'll be able to relive the greatest moments. You'll be able to share that with your friends and family. And McKenna. How are you feeling tonight? No, um, there's a little bit of nerves there. I think that's good. I think that fuels, fuels your brain, but I do feel prepared. I feel excited. Um, yeah, and we do conversation, not controversy. I, I am honored to be here with Al Snow and we're all here to listen, learn, laugh. We want to win the biggest this tournament we all want to win the biggest the tournament, the <laughs> biggest of all time. 119 Hall of Famers, along with Oscar, Emmy, Tony, Grammy, and Olympians. And then there's me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm here. Like You are, and you deserve to be here. And I am going to put you in the back for a moment. And we are going to bring in our next competitor for our first match. Are we excited about tonight's match? Because I am. And I am excited about this competitor. Our next competitor has graced the stage and electrified the screen. Another seasoned veteran storyteller. He is convicted. He is passionate. We have the one and only Scott Winters. Hi, Giselle. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Winters. How are you tonight? I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm doing well. How are you? I am doing great. I am so excited that you are back in this second chance bowl. We have not seen enough of you. I know the audience loves you. Our viewers love you. How are you feeling about your chances tonight? Um, like McKenna, I am excited. I'm, I'm excited, a little nervous, but, you know, just kind of game day nerves. Um, hopefully they, they work in my favor. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, I, I, uh, I, I told my wife, you know, look, you know, there's a chance we're going to go to Greece hey. and, uh, $13,000 prize. <laughs> and so we went ahead and made a reservation at the Andronicos hotel in, in Mykonos with, uh, a, a hopeful expectation. <laughs> so. 
I love this confidence. That is going to serve you well. But you've got some tough competition, Mr. Winters. Not sure. only are you facing McKenna this yeah. evening, you have one other competitor tonight. And how do you feel about being voted back into the second chance at all? Is that? Oh, I'm so honored. I love the new network and I love how much the sphere of influence is increasing. I love its presence on YouTube. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. I didn't think that this would come back around for me. Uh, Pete Babcock and I, we had a pretty good, uh, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat last year, but I'm really glad to be back. It was Ooh, yeah. Do you see Avi's comment right there? A shot at Pete Bob Babcock in round two for a rematch? Interesting. Would you enjoy a rematch with Probably Mr. Probably have Beckford? to go to the voters. Uh, but yeah, I would enjoy it. I would. <laughs> we did. We dubbed it the, uh, was it the battle? Um, I forget, because we went to um, competing high schools. Right. And right. Uh, so, yeah, I forget. I forget <laughs> what we dubbed it, but it was good. It was good. People enjoyed it. Battle of Arizona, yes, they are both from Phoenix. Uh, I know we had Sun in there somewhere. Yeah. I would want to see. Oh, no one would want to see that rematch for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that that would be an awesome rematch, says Chad. It absolutely would. So before we can get to that rematch, I'm going to put Mr. Winters in the back and mm -hmm. bring in our third competitor, and then we will see all of them on screen at the same time. You have seen our first two in our first two matches this week. Valley of the Sun, there it goes. <laughs> you would think I did a whole promo with sun-related imagery on it. Of course I would remember. It was the battle for the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona. They went to competing high schools. It was fantastic. If you missed it, you can check it out on our website. Oh, wait, what does this mean, Mr. Klein? Is this? where the surprise comes in? Al Snow had some logistic issues, but guess what? I promised you a match featuring a trio of legends at exactly 6.30 p.m. Eastern time with only 90 minutes notice. There will be a replacement. Okay. The last time we had a replacement with that short of notice, that person won his match. While Al Snow will return at a later date to compete in the second chance bowl, whew, good, because he was voted in. He deserves to be here. We love you, Al. How about announcing who his last minute replacement is right now? Hello, everybody. Former WWE superstar Al Snow and the featured on Wrestlers, the docu series on Netflix. I am. Uh, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to compete in the TKN Second Chance Celebrity Bowl tonight. But I will be returning to whoop some. Uh, I can't really say that and take some initials because I moved just too fast for names. I'll be back. I'll be back with a vengeance. For the TKN Celebrity Bowl, Second Chance Bowl, and I'll be in it, and I'll be strong. I'll see you guys then, and again, my apologies. The emergency came up. I couldn't make it, but I will return. Al, that was so sweet. Thank you so much for sharing that, and even though it won't be tonight, we will see you again, and I know everyone here is excited about that. So with only an hour and a half notice, who do we have? <gasps> you want to talk about legends? How about a gold medal winning US Olympian? How about a WBO heavyweight champion? How about a hall of famer? How about a giant round of applause to a legendary man and talent? Who is this person? Are we ready? Do we have our our applauding hands ready because I am excited to see who this is. Ray Mercer! Hey, hey everybody. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Welcome back. back. I want to thank I want to thank Al for giving me this opportunity to be here tonight. And I'm just honored. I really am. 
Ray, we are honored to have you grace our screen once again. So excited for you and this chance. You are receiving so much love in the comments from our viewers right now. I am thrilled that you are here and able to do this tonight for us. And it gives us one more opportunity to hear your heart and mind. So thank you so much for being able to be here. It's an honor, believe me, it really is. It's great to be here, it's great to be here. It is. It is great to be here on any day. Hello, Johnny. Johnny is telling you hello, sir. Thanks for joining us again, Johnny. Hello to Ray from Johnny. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Are you ready, Mr. Mercer? I am ready. It's like this. I heard the bell. Let's ring the bell. Let's ring the bell. Ray, do you want to win? Avi says you want to win. Definitely, I really want, I want to win. I want bragging rights. I want everything, you know. I'll, 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 bragging, that's it, I'm ready. Those bragging rights are super important, aren't they? They're more important than, well, they're important, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. If you could see my screen right now, I have the YouTube tab pulled open with the Ray Mercer tournament. <laughs> I was just watching it right before this started. The Lord is good. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. I am. Thank you so much for joining I'm us. Honest, last I'm honored to be on with you guys, man. You guys, are, you guys are so smart. Here I am. I'm going against you guys. That's that's whoever wins this should be to win the whole thing. I mean, <laughs> you can. I agree. I believe it. <laughs> yeah. We have our three competitors. They are ready to be here. We have Scott Pinters, Ray Mercer, and McKenna. Ray was up against Hall of Famer Spencer Haywood and Brutus Beefcake in round one. That was a tough match. That yeah. was tough. That was, that was tough. Yeah. yeah. Look, Ray, you deserve to be here, as does everyone else. You were incredible in your first match. You're going to be even more incredible tonight. Everyone will be. I wish you all the best of luck. Okay. And let us see what our topic is so we can begin this. <laughs> Love it, Ray. All right. Here is the topic for our first match. The words you say will teach if you practice what you preach. Words. Oh, how I love words. Whether they are spoken, written, or signed. Words are powerful enough to change someone's life. Both our words and our nonverbal actions hold a lot of power. In this topic, you are speaking to our large virtual audience. Three specific words that we can all live by. What are those three words and why did you choose them? We understand the topic? Yes. Yes. McKenna, you are up first. All right. Three specific words, what they mean, and why did you choose them? All right. So the three words that I chose are love, understanding, grace. Love is first because as a person of the Christian faith, I recognize that Jesus said, the first commandment is love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second is like it, love others as you love yourself. Now, for me, I see three elements in that. The first is loving God. The second is loving others. And the third is loving yourself. I recognize that I'm talking to a widely diverse audience with a wide set of beliefs. So I won't get too far into loving God, even though I think that's really important. But it is also really important to love others and to love yourself. I think all of us are looking for love, whether it's in a romantic way or platonic way. It's something that's important to all of us. It brings joy into our lives. And what better thing for you to do if everyone's out there looking for love, if you seek to love everyone around you? And it's also important, I think, to love yourself because very often 
I think there's a self-hatred going around where we tell ourselves negative thoughts all the time. And sometimes when we don't have others giving us those loving thoughts, those loving, that love energy, sometimes we need to give that to ourselves. So we then have that positive energy to give back out into the world as well. Now, I think the next word, understanding, does help you love others a lot better in a lot of ways. I think it is really important to seek to understand everybody around you. I think a lot of people are seeking to be understood, which is important as well. But understanding really helps you love others. And I think there's so much division in the world where understanding can fix that. Even if we disagree with someone, if we can talk to them, if we can gain an understanding of where they're coming from, why they've reached their beliefs, then it will help us all the more to love them. And I think that also goes for yourself, because I think sometimes, I know for me, I sometimes don't understand myself. Now, this might be because I have OCD and sometimes those thoughts just don't make sense. But I think this is a problem that a lot of people deal with as well. So sometimes we need to sit down, take an opportunity to meditate and consider why we're feeling a certain way, why we're behaving a certain way, and to go forward with that understanding of ourselves so we know how to interact in future situations. And the last word is grace. Grace to me is patient. It's being understanding through mistakes. It is, and it involves a lot of that love and understanding. It's seeing others, loving them, understanding that everybody makes mistakes. And grace, grace is just so core because I think of all the times I've made mistakes. And even when people don't understand, I just wish that they would be gracious to me to make up an excuse in their head that could be a possibility. So I want to extend that to others, do to others as you would have them do to you. And I think these are all, they can be difficult to live by. There have definitely been instances in my life where I have not been these three things. But I think if we strive to be loving, understanding and gracious, if we all strive to do that, it would make the world a way better place than it is today. Thank you, McKenna. That's tough. That's so good. <laughs> so good. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> So to our viewers at home, remember this is a one topic deal. They are all answering the same question. We have one topic. After everybody has gone, we will vote and the top two vote getters will advance to round two. Thanks for sharing your heart, McKenna. Up next, Mr. Scott Winters, same question to you. What are the three words you chose? What do they mean? And why did you choose them? All right. Um, McKenna, my, we have a daughter named Grace. So oh. <laughs> I like that. Um, and I, I love your, your words. Um, so I chose, uh, I chose three words. Um, you know, I chose three words that, that um, are kind of more, um, kind of more about being than mm -hmm. doing. Um, you know, we live in such a performance-based culture and we all have so much on us to do. And we're, we always have to do, obviously. But I just, I, I, I chose a few nouns that are, are very much about being. We're human beings, right? We're not human doings. So I feel like being... Uh, even spiritually speaking, can proceed doing. It, it's always worked for me. So those words are uh, courage, freedom, and beauty. Um, so I'll start with courage. Um, you know, courage, it's not really, it's not the absence of fear. It's, it's more about acting in spite of fear. And I feel as we're all kind of watching the world unravel a bit, uh, sometimes in, in entertaining 
ways, other times in kind of scary ways. I feel like the specter of fear has just increased so much. Um, we have a lot of high school kids coming through our house and, and you know, um, just mental health issues have spiked in high schools and universities. Um, you know, anxiety, depression. I think people are um, just dealing with a lot in this day and age. I think smartphones and social media and false narratives, I feel like it's just increased a lot of um, kind of the mental health issues that, that, that not only, you know, teens are dealing with, but what adults are dealing with in kind of unprecedented ways. You know, you look at politics, politics, it's, it's become kind of a joke in our day, right? Where we've seen uh, politics become so weaponized as well as media, as well as like the judicial system. There's, there's just such polarization happening. And I feel like this all triggers fear. Okay. And, but it's also, very much happening in the midst of an AI environment. So that all said, just kind of setting the table, I feel like that the opportunities to be authentic, to live wholeheartedly, um, to take risks, to challenge ourselves, to awaken unfulfilled dreams, I feel like this really requires courage. And, you know, I've learned in my experience that it's risk is I often nothing really happens. That's I think that's on a great level without taking some kind of a risk and risk requires courage. And so I've, as I continue to age, I see that, wow, um, I need to engage courage, but I also, I also encourage younger people to, to, to engage courage because I really do think that, I don't know, using secular language and, and I'm, I'm Christian as well, but just to, to, to use uh, uh, the secular, I would say that it's almost like there's this agenda for humanity to, to cave. And uh, what I mean by that is we just, we're watching kind of the digitization of people, right? Where, where, where it's just so easy to just pursue comfort to, it, it seems more easier, easier than ever to really not care for other people, like McKenna was saying, to not really step out and love other people, um, and yet that seems to be where the 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 the, the richness of, of of life really lives, and yet we're all so bombarded in this kind of postmodern modern world with with comfort and you know, and, and yet I feel like we're all preloaded with this idea of of courage and to challenge ourselves and to love and to forgive in, 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 in radical ways. Uh, you know, these, these big ideas, I think that they require courage, love, which was, which, you know, one of McKenna's words, I think love requires courage. Um, you know, it, it requires risk. It requires us to be vulnerable. So courage is big for me. Um, and I'm, and I'm passionate about it. Uh, the second one, freedom, um, coming out of the secular for a moment, uh, one of my favorite quotes in the Bible is that um, uh, it's Jesus says it's 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 for it's for freedom that Paul says this in Galatians it's for freedom that Christ has set us free. It's not for religion. It's not so we become perfect. Uh, it's it's actually for freedom. And that and that freedom is 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 in every dimension of our lives. It's it's meant to be in our uh, in our relationships, in our finances, um, in in our dreams, in our creativity, in our projects, in our emotions, and you know, in in the kind of circus environment that I was alluding to before, you just feel like a lot of us are not experiencing freedom in our daily lives, um, in our relationships, you know, and sometimes in order to kind of understand a principle, it can be helpful to look at its opposite. And so, I don't know, the opposite of freedom would be like, well, what, what am I bound to? You know, what am I enslaved to? And, you know, we, we see a natural picture of slavery or enslavement, or we see, you know, addiction. Um, and so, I just feel like, you know, when I look at my own life, um, 
you know, my, my life, the history of my life is I feel like I've been peeling off the onion layers constantly for the last three, four decades, just, you know, trying to find the freedom that I believe is inherent for every human being. And that I believe that, that God really promises us and offers us. Um, it's why I surf. It's why I act, you know, it's why I screenwrite. Um, it's why I love going to the mountains. It's, it's, it's really for freedom. You know, I think we're all loaded, pre-wired for wanting to be carried away, wanting to, to have freedom. Um, so, so freedom. And then, uh, Gosh, my th my third one is beauty. You know, one of my I'm a, I'm a fan of Russian literature. Uh, I love Dostoevsky, and one of my favorite quotes from from Dostoevsky is "Beauty will save the world." And I guess, kind of in the spirit of everything that I've been talking about and how synthetic the world kind of looks to a lot of us. I live in Los Angeles. Um, you know. It, it, it's it's almost like the the one thing that I believe can overturn that kind of synthesis or or, or rather that that synthetic quality to, to to modern life is beauty. You know, um, a buddy of mine today, he's a three time Emmy winner, sent me an email that, that that a movie called The Last Screenwriter was just pulled. It's the first movie that's been done by AI. And it was opening in London. And there were so many complaints that they pulled it. And I, and I think it was pulled. I think people were complaining because, you know, like our culture, it seems to be trending toward this, you know, more control. Uh, you know, there's all these movies that are successful around the utopia, right? But nobody really wants that, right? And so I, I feel like, like beauty, it, 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 you know, it just offers us this kind of, thing that's inherent it, it, it's it's in each of us um and it's counterculture to the hyper rationalism trend to to the utopian trend to this ai trend and it's but it's why we love music right it's why we love poems uh everybody loves a sunset right everybody loves the colors of a sunset or hearing a, a an infant you know trying to speak there's things that just kind of strike our heart that I think that are in the realm of beauty that are paramount, uh, that really define us as, as human beings. Um, and we all have the capability to beautify anything. You know, it's, it's why I cook. It's why I write. It's, 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 I feel like it's the crown jewel of, of being alive is, is beauty. That's something that we can do and appreciate until we're, 99 years old, you know, because I really feel like the second half of life, even though in America, in the West, rather a lot, you know, we'll put the elderly in nursing homes. We don't necessarily respect elders as much as they might in other cultures. But I feel like we're we're continually supposed to be embracing beauty and 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 challenging challenging ourselves in the midst of that. Um so in, in, in conclusion, I think courage, freedom, and beauty are just so significant and practical and catalytic uh, for all of us to live by. Thanks. Thank you so much for those three wonderful words and the explanation of them, Mr. Winters. That was really beautiful. And already this evening is not going to be easy for our viewers who are voting tonight. Mr. Mercer, it is your turn. Same question. What are your three words? What do they mean? Why did you choose them? Take it away. I got to go after that guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, my, my three words are communication, love, and dedication. And I can start off by um, communication. Um, well, I'm gonna start off by talking about dedication. Um, it's part of something, you know, that I do that I, I really think it's really important for um, people like me that's done been to the Olympics, want to go medal and experience winning uh, a world title and stuff like that to dedicate myself along with others to helping these kids 
and and that's that's basically what I do and what I tell other people that that want to get in to help out to dedicate themselves to doing it. Something dealing with kids and dealing with you know have, you're not just dealing with them when you see them. You you you're like a uh, a parent or or a mentor to them when they can come to you with their problems and everything. So. You know, you can't be just halfway doing something with, with the kids. You have to be totally dedicated to doing it. And you have to love doing it. And that's one of those things where, you know, you just have to love your job, man. And I don't know anybody that don't, um, you know, that don't like taking care of kids, man. So that's me winning the gold medal gave me the platform. And, and, and being a world champion gave me the platform to use that, man, to help as many kids as I can, you know. If I go to a school or something like that and I only help one person, one kid, it's worth it. It was worth the dedication. It was worth everything that I took myself and everybody else through for these kids. So, you know, I'm, 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 that's, that's a real big word with me. And I know for my other two competitors, it's with them too, because they're dedicated to winning this thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they're dedicated to a lot of other things, you know, as far as life and and kids and everything else but that's that's my words and my explanation for you know for dedication man that's what i'm all about is dedication and it's dedication to the kids and we need more more people more parents more sports athletes to to get involved to you know to, to further along um helping these kids man for the future man they're our future we're getting older if people didn't know that we are getting older and they're going to be in charge and it's how we lead them to thinking um, from being dedicated to doing what you do, then that's, that's going to determine how, how this world's going to be. So it's a real important role for us um, athletes and, and actors and, and singers and everything to, to, to dedicate ourselves to that cause for the kids. And bringing in love. Love is what brings dedication. <laughs> because, I mean, kids, I just I just love kids. I have nine kids. And I just, I'm gonna tell you I love kids. I have, I have five grandkids. I take care of two of them here in North Carolina. And I'm telling you, it's nothing like unconditional love. You know, I have my own kids uh, that's grown, but um, I don't know. I don't know what it is with the grandkids, it's just, they just show you unconditional love, man. So love is a very important, important thing. I mean, you, you, you put everything on love, man, and you love everybody and everybody will love you and you'll love yourself. Love yourself is very, very important because you cannot love others if you don't love yourself. So you, it's very important that you love yourself so you can spread the love throughout the world and the world will be a better place with love, but you have to give love a chance. And, um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead on into the next one, which is uh, uh, trust. You have to be able to trust people. You have to be able to trust the system. You have to be able to trust a lot of things in life that's gonna get you ahead. And and you gotta know what you know what to trust. You just gotta you gotta have people around you that you can trust, and uh, that will teach you how to trust the systems that we have. We have systems that's that's not trustworthy right now, like the voting system and all that stuff. So we have to get that, we have to get that back. We have to get the trust back in the American people to get out there and believe in our, our um, politics and get out there and vote, man. You need to, you need to just, just do that. And we need to trust that you won't have parents out there too that's going to go and do the right thing for their kids taking care of them in school and whatever and all you athletes and singers and actors uh, mr mercer we yeah. you are we love listening to you we have mckenna with a rebuttal hi sorry i was just curious trust trust is your key word here how how do we get that back i guess is the question that you know that'd be the same the same thing that I would ask, but I just know that we need to get it back because it's a lot of <laughs> the same question. You know, I don't know the answer. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, you know, that's one of the things that, that you're going to need to to live by. I mean, you got to be able to trust people. You got to be able to trust a cab driver. You definitely got to trust airline pilots. I mean, you just have, you have, 
you trust is a big word. You got to be able to trust people. And for this word, this world to, to carry on. And if you're married for 36 years, like myself, trust is a very, very serious word. So that's why I take trust as, as, as serious. So those are my um, my three words, man. And and I know I know they help people. I know, and I've seen seen them all work. And every my my two opponents, every all of us are on the same point, and we want the same things. And uh, this is a great show to be on to promote it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mercer, for sharing your heart and soul and for all three of you for explaining those words. We are moving on to the exciting part. This is where the votes come in. So viewers, fans, engine on YouTube land, on Facebook land, start getting your votes. And now we do have one judge in the back and that person's vote will be worth five points. So let's bring him in now, Mr. Collado. Please join us on screen. And yes, very much. Cannot express this enough. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. you guys make everyone around you better. And we so appreciate all three of you being here tonight on a Saturday evening, prime time. Words cannot express how wonderful it is to have you all back here and see you again and be a part of the new network and what we stand for. And if this question doesn't prove what we stand for, I don't think anything else can, because this was an amazing topic. And now we have the hard part, <laughs> Mr. Collado. Oh my God, guys, first of all, uh, awesome to have all three of you on this amazing platform. Um, I think between all three of you, you guys could all, all solve the world's problems right now. Um, Man, where do I start? So McKenna, I loved, uh, you know, you talked about, you know, under the importance of understanding just other people's beliefs and, and being able to understand the page that they're coming from, right? And and how that's conducive to, you know, good connections with people. Uh, appreciated that. Uh, Scott, I really love actually how you connected your argument to McKenna's as well with, with love. And you spoke about how love requires courage, which was McKenna's word. Um, also, uh, beauty can overcome the synthetic quality of existence. Uh, I really love that point that you made there. Uh, it was a really powerful point. And, and Ray, um, you know, I love how you brought up uh, married 32 years and how trust is one of the things that makes that work. But I mean, that's also a trust that you also, I'm sure, apply to you know, any relationship as well that you have. Uh, but ultimately, really, it just came down to numbers for me. Who made the most points? Uh, who made uh, the most points and the most varied points? And for me, that's going to be Scott. So, both goes to Scott. But all three, amazing, yeah. amazing. Job. Thank you very Thank much, you. Howard. Thank you. Yeah. No, he is correct. You all three made amazing points and explained those words so well. So, thank you, Scott. Thank you, McKenna. Thank you, Ray, for sharing those with us again and again because this is probably going to be one of the most feel-good episodes engine start getting your votes in now type those and, in the comments please let us know it was worth five right <laughs> yeah. yeah well yeah we have we are tallying in the back we will get that straightened out start getting those votes in now please engine we have you on youtube we have you on facebook we have you everywhere. Terry on Facebook votes for Ray. Ray has a point. Some of the I some of the votes may not be showing up right away. We will get to them. If you don't see your vote on there, type it in again. Tell us you put it up earlier. We'll make sure we only count it one time. But make sure you get that vote in. Ramon, oh my God, amazing from you all. I have to give it to Scott this round. Thank so you. Ramon votes for Scott. Larry I'm also. Glad I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not voting. Like, <laughs> it's, it's very, you know, I have seen Avi in this position many a time and have been 
rather envious that he does not have to make this choice. I am also glad I am not voting this evening. This is definitely one of the toughest. Let's get those votes coming. Yes, Ramon votes for Scott. Yes, amazing from all of you. <laughs> uh, Dylan, okay, Dylan, I am not competing tonight. I am already in round three. Thank you, Black Box. If you haven't seen the Black Box on Wednesday nights, do that. Lester votes for Ray. Here's another one for you, Ray. We have votes coming in on YouTube, on Facebook. They are being pulled up. We may have to refresh a little bit to see that. If you don't see your vote, type it in again. Let us know. Megan says, love, Mc love McKenna. This is Megan. I vote for McKenna. Thank you, Megan. McKenna made some really strong points. Alexander votes for Scott. We have another vote for Mr. Winters right there from Alexander. Keep, keep those votes coming. I see you out there. Gus, my vote is officially for Scott Winters for round one. Gus, this is the only topic this evening for these three. The two with the most points will advance to round two of the Celebrity Grand Tournament. Chad coming in with his vote. You all did amazing. And believe me, this was hard. But I'm voting for Scott. There we go. Another for Scott. And thank you, Avi, for tallying in the back. The two with the most votes will advance to round two of the Celebrity Tournament. <laughs> I vote for McKenna. Austin, we can only count one of those, but thank you so much for being here and enjoying the show and supporting us and voting for McKenna. All three individuals, really just amazing. Couldn't say that any better myself. Dion, McKenna for love and Jesus. Thank you, Dion, for voting. I know this is really tough and all three of you were so eloquent and so passionate and so giving. I know our engine is having a difficult choice time choosing. It's a very tough choice. I will put my vote in for McKenna. There you go, McKenna, another one for you. Keep those votes coming. Top two, only two will move on. Only two will advance to round two. We know this is going to be tough. We know this is going to be bittersweet and we will be losing someone tonight. And that is going to make us all very sad. I have a YouTube vote. It looks like Steve votes for Ray. So that is another one for Ray coming in. Dylan, I've got to vote for Scott. I'd love to hear about how they feel about the Sawcon papers in relation. Ooh, Scott, do you have any words about that? Uh, not at the moment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> that sounds like a deep discussion for a later time. Yeah, please give my number. Let's 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 chop it up on uh, in a phone call. I would love to. Perfect. Keith says courageous to talk about your faith. Proud of McKenna. Keith, is that an official vote for McKenna though? We need to know if that is official. We are also proud of McKenna and proud of Ray and proud of Scott. It is very tough to get up here and do this compete in this and it doesn't matter if you're a green rimmer someone who is known someone who has been in the spotlight a million times it is very difficult and we are so proud of all of you what a tough choice wow my vote however goes to mckenna thank you christopher for voting and watching us on youtube all right mckenna and we have a vote for ray from greg as well i am seeing this is, this is close. Those no, come in. Do we have them? Are we missing anyone? Did anyone not vote already? Ooh. Here's an exciting vote. One, Glacier Ray Lloyd voted for Ray. And one, Mr. Lou Ferrigno voted for Scott. Lou Ferrigno, I love him. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Ferrigno is in round two already and Glacier Ray Lloyd will be in the second chance bowl. So we will see both of them again and they are wonderful competitors and wonderful people and they love watching the show as much as being part of it. So we're so glad that you both are here watching and voting this evening. We have another vote for Ray from Tom and one from Pete for Ray as well. Whew. This is getting heated. Mm. Oh, Joe, thank you for voting. Joe votes for McKenna. 
Thank you. Great to have you here tonight with us, Joe. So glad you could join us this evening. All right, let's get those in. Are there any final final votes coming down? Anyone out there on YouTube who hasn't voted? Anyone out there on Facebook who hasn't voted? Let's keep those votes coming. Oh my, Mr. Roller, if you advance to round two, what would this mean to you? Sorry, who were you asking? Oh, I was I was asking Mr. Mercer. All right, Ray, did you freeze on this little? Oh, there you are. Huh? If you if if you advance to round two, what would this mean to you? It would mean it would mean a great deal. It would mean that I was smarter than I thought. <laughs> no, you have definitely proven your intelligence over all of your matches. And we have another vote for McKenna this evening that was just up on screen. We also have a vote for Scott from Lisa. So another one for Mr. Winters. And whatever happens tonight, this will not be the last we see of Scott Winters because Scott you have a show on the new network with us do you not i do yeah uh, avi and i yeah we we co-host a show called a better day and uh it's 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 about encouraging people in their lives where they're at and how god is personable and benevolent and accessible and um it's not religious at all <laughs> we talk about love so yeah, it's great. Yeah. I'm doing it. No, that's amazing. I cannot wait to see that. And those will be on YouTube shortly. The Celeb Talk Shows are returning soon. We've got two votes for Scott, one from Randy right here. Was impressed with all three, but Scott is my choice. Thank you so much for joining us, Randy. Victoria votes for McKenna. Keith votes for McKenna. I think we did catch that earlier, Keith. Thank you so much for clarifying that for us. And then Lisa voted for Scott as well. We are very close. We were tied at eight. We had one vote come in for McKenna, who is now in the lead at nine. And now we are tied with another vote for Scott. Pat votes for Scott. You're tied at nine. Ray, Ray you are right there with them at eight. Oh, this is going to be so close. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Oh, oh my gosh. Sorry, just another vote coming. That's crazy. <laughs> We have another vote that just came in from you from one Jacques Rougeau, and we are tied at nine all. <laughs> Here we go. Is this <laughs> no ties with the second chance bowl? No ties. What are we I know. <laughs> we do have a plan for a tie break, should that be necessary. And we've got Gwen's vote coming in now. Gwen, did you get my vote for McKenna? Yes, we did. Thank you so much, Gwen. We've got that. Appreciate you making sure of that. We do want to be as transparent as possible here, and we do have to scroll up to see all of the votes sometimes. And we have a lot of comments to get through, so we appreciate your patience with all of that. And, and bringing that forward, and we will get that. And ties are acceptable, acceptable in the second chance bowl. Okay. But not in round two, so maybe there's some hope. How are you all feeling right now as we as our final votes trickle in and we're tied all at nine? <laughs> it feels super accurate to me. Like I just I I loved I loved Ray and McKenna a lot, so I'm really glad that it's like yeah like like I'm I will. If I if I end up uh, if this is a tie and someone has to bow out, I will. I will. Be <laughs> I think they both ripped it. Oh, and that that right there is the spirit of TKN and what we have dubbed competitive camaraderie. Scott, no one wants to see you bow out. We know you want this. How badly <laughs> do you want it? Uh, my wife will be upset if I bow. Out. <laughs> but, you know, I'm in the spirit of love. You know. <laughs> But aside from your wife, yeah, how badly right. do you I, want it? I'm I'm concealing my zeal for. A great <laughs> I, uh, I'm doing a great acting job right now. No. 
I love the alliteration there. We've had a couple of other votes come in. Al votes for McKenna. James votes for Scott. McKenna and Scott are tied at 10. Ray. I mean, I'm glad this is close because I think both of you guys did a great job as well. So if it wasn't close, I'd call BS just a little <laughs> Right. Larry, uh, Ray, Larry Holmes shouted you out on the phone with Avi earlier today. Oh, Larry. Of Larry course. Holmes. Yes, you would vote for Ray. <laughs> they would have knocked him out if they were in the round. In the <laughs> Larry is also voting for you, Ray. How does that feel? Right. Larry Holmes. All right. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bad man. He's a bad man. Okay. Here we go. We are counting it down. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And with that, we have a three way tie. All three have advanced to round number two. Oh my what? God. This is the best conclusion I could hope for. I, I didn't know a tie was possible. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Ray so Mercer, cool. congratulations. You are in round two. How are you feeling wow. after this topic, after this match, and being in round two? Wow, that is, I'm honored. I am very honored and surprised, I might add. <laughs> You saw the love from our engine. You saw the love from our viewers. They are all there. Scott Winters, you are in round two. Congratulations. How I'm are so, you feeling right now? I'm so excited. I didn't I didn't think I was gonna advance, actually. <laughs> um when I, I when I watched both of them, I was uh, I was intimidated. I was like, wow, they are so likable. And uh, <laughs> and I and I love I just loved um, both of them were so authentic and and you know, to be fair. Ray found out like tonight that he was going to do this. And then he just came out and knocked it out of the park. So it was like, I'm so glad he's advancing because that would not be cool if uh, yeah. it wasn't a good way time. Yeah. 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 Ray, that was amazing with 90 minutes notice. And this is very rare. A three-way voting tie. Ten all around. Mm -hmm.